He said that ain't no rest from the wicked Money don't grow on trees I got bills to pay, I got Hey guys, Duffy56 here with a long-awaited uh, next edition in Call of Duty um, games, I guess I could say. Um, I'm really sorry I haven't gotten to the game uh, posting in a while. Um, it's been kind of busy lately with uh, school and, and uh, projects and stuff like that, and I'll be talking about that a little later. But uh, how about a little background? Uh, capture the flag on Skid Row with my uh, TAR-21, some Claymore Scavenger Stopping Power Ninja, and um, probably didn't need the stopping power. And probably could have used hardline this match, but you know, whatever. Um, it's okay. And uh, I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but um, got some nuke issues with this game, so we'll see about that. Um, what I like to do and capture the flag is I like to put a claymore scavenger class, and I like to claymore the flag. Not only is it a good killing tool, but it's a very good tool for um, alerting you where the other people are. And uh, it's very helpful. And most people that uh, just run over it. Um, and that will definitely alert you. Uh, let's see, what else? I like to play uh, mainly defense when I'm on the flag. Because that's um, what I, I guess what I normally do. I just feel more comfortable uh, staying back. Because nowadays, whenever I go into capture the flag, it's marathon lightweight. And... Uh, commando that I'm playing against so I'm either using a sniper or my assault rifle class and how this guy got up here without tripping the claymore I have no clue but whatever tar or what is that I'm 16 yeah whatever um watch this guy lagging here and now what you're gonna watch me go on a massive killing streak and like I said there's gonna be some nuke issues with this game oh wait no not yet um a little bit later but you'll see me going on this massive kill streak and uh like I said there'll be some nuke issues in this game um, so you can look forward to that. So now that I've given you all that you need to know about this game, I will now talk about what's been going on lately. Um, the other day I went to Best Buy and I bought Final Fantasy 13 because I was tired of getting noob tubed in COD. And I am planning on doing a playthrough series with live commentary. Yeah, I know, live commentary. Um... I think it'll be really fun, and I think it'll be a good chance for you guys to see kind of like a different side of me and a different interest in, in games, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, uh, play through Final Fantasy XIII. I already have seven or so parts already filmed, and I'm only two hours through the game. It's supposed to have a hella long plot, so um, I'm really excited to do that. Um, yeah, I keep saying um, so enjoy that. Uh, wow, there I go again. Well... Uh, I have two other projects planned. Um, both of them have to do with playthroughs, and I'm not really going to spoil anything because you guys have enough of a teaser of me playing Final Fantasy to go on for the rest of your lives. Um, so, like I said, they have to do with playthroughs, and they're not Xbox games, so it'll be cool. Oh, and my other teaser is that it will be with another person I will be doing playthrough commentary with. So hopefully we connect on that level, and... Uh, We'll have a really good playthrough for you guys to enjoy. Uh, a little more comedy in that series because it's uh, pretty laid back, like I said. So, yeah, there you go with that. And I also wanted you guys to um, check out this. Uh, my friend does a, a weekly show. Um, his name's Kenny, and he does like a just a random show. I mean, you might not get half the jokes, but it's he's still a pretty funny guy. He's a good kid, and. Uh, you get to uh, meet his family and all the crazy people that he lives with and hangs out with. So, I'll put the link in the sidebar, and uh, if you guys want to go check it out, then that'd be uh, I'd be I'd really appreciate it. He's got three episodes out now, but like I said, I, I'd really appreciate it, and he'd be doing me a huge favor. Um, so here I am avoiding deaths narrow crap uh, narrow Lee, and uh, what I'm doing right now is just they're kind of rushing up top here, and I'm just kind of putting him down like a sick puppy. And, uh, yeah, um, gonna call in my Harriers randomly because they really have no aim and I'm inside so I don't have to worry about it much. And I almost died there from, I believe, my airstrike that I threw down randomly, so go figure with that. Um, and all I'm doing is pretty much just defending our flag, uh, 
We're tied one to one. I don't do much flag capping or returning, but I do what I can, and I help the team immensely because of my kill streaks. So you're gonna see me camping here at the end of the round because um, I'm going for a chopper gunner, and my kill streaks are five, seven, nine, or no, I'm sorry, seven, eleven, and twenty-five. That would be the Harrier, the chopper gunner, and the nuke. Um, so like, I just want to get a chopper gunner so I can throw it out right at the beginning of the of the round so that. Uh, I can um, get a bunch of kills right, right away, and you'll see that later in the round, because, uh, spoiler alert, I do get my chopper gunner. And, like I said, you're, you're just going to see that now. Um, just camping back, waiting for my claymore to trip. There we go. I got a domino effect, which is cool. So, that challenge is done, and uh, that was really a hellish challenge. Um, I don't think I have the chopper gunner. Do I? No, I don't. So I'm going to have to go for that quickly and uh, make sure that I don't die. So what I do is I claim more a big transition area. Now, if you guys haven't watched much uh, Call of Duty YouTube, the, the transition area is an area that is frequented by a lot of people. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. So what, uh, transition area, um, back to transition area. Um, a lot of people frequent it and what, what, I mean by transition is that they're running to another place, they're transitioning to another area of the map. So it's important that you not only watch these transition areas, but that you put down claymores and like stuff like that, because if you can um, guard the transition areas, you're going to be able to eventually push them back into their spawn. And I'm not speeding up the chopper gunner because I don't want to be like every other commentator on YouTube that say that everyone hates the chopper gunner, which they really don't. I mean, who doesn't love holding on the R trigger and just completely murdering the enemy? I mean, come on! Like, seriously, you guys are going to sit there and say you don't like it, but if you got it, you would just run around and rape with it and, and have a smile on your face like I am right now. Um, got Cobra Commando 1. That's a prestige challenge. Um, you have to get so many kills with the chopper gunner, and I'm not really failing so much as I'm just getting unlucky. They're not spawning right away, so that's why I don't get the nuke right away from... Uh, my my chopper gunner and there's that one guy right there that's really annoying me so i'm just kind of sitting here thinking like hmm well i'm gonna wait until someone runs by or i'm just gonna wait for a bit and make sure that i don't die because if i die there it's just kind of no point in getting the chopper gunner you know and i gotta go for the nuke you know but yeah um so i'm gonna play this a little more conservative because I mean, I know we're winning, but it's still a close game, so you're going to stay... I wanted to stay back on defense a little more, and I wanted to uh, make sure that I, I don't over-push like my team is. And the one thing about... bad thing about over-pushing is that you're, you're raping your spawn, your own spawn, because um, you're going to spawn back, and by that time, like, there's going to be people surrounding your spawn, so... By pushing in, you're only hurting yourself and you're hurting your team because if you over push, then you're going to start spawning closer to the other team and then eventually spawns will switch and the other team will be able to catch on to it faster than you because they're with the flow of the game. And why you don't over push and capture the flag is because there's plenty of people with Marathon and Lightweight that can run around a different flank because of the way the maps are designed and the way the flags are designed. So think about that and um, like I said, very helpful tip, play more spots where people will just run through it and never look. Like, when someone's jumping through a window, they're not going to look down for claymores. And I thought I was going to die there, and I almost cried because I needed to get the nuke. But um, besides that, and I say but besides that a lot, but besides that, um, I thought I killed that guy there, which would have been helpful. And because obviously killing someone's helpful, but um, would have got me closer to the nuke. And right here, I'm almost flashing myself. But I'm going to go downstairs, and I'm going to see what I can do. Now... <clears throat> Sorry again. Um, I'm just playing it safe, like I said. Our flag is right there, so I'm waiting for people that are rushing from downstairs to upstairs. Uh, like this guy here, but he's running the complete wrong way, and I have no idea why. But that is, once again, besides the point. And, uh, uh, uh what? Uh, I just got noob tubed. I'm speechless, and... I choked the nuke. I guess you could say I choked the nuke, but what, really what I was is someone was a f 
Someone was not a nice person and killed me with a overpowered equipment. And that pissed me off because I was 24 kills. I went back and I counted it. I was 24 freaking kills away from the nuke. I was one kill away from the freaking nuke. I had 24 kills. And I can't believe it. That kid... Go back on the slow-mo. I'm not going to do it again because I don't feel like it. Um, go back on the slow-mo. He didn't even reload his noob tube before he fired it out of his gun. Now, I'm pretty sure in real life, if you're trying to fire a noob tube out of your gun before you even reloaded it, your hand would probably go with the f a noob tube. I'm trying to keep it PG. Because this is a family show. But regardless. Still had a great score. I believe I go 30 and 4. Um... I love Call of Duty, I love Infinity Ward, I'm banging my head against the wall, I am speechless, and I don't know, oh, 31 and 4, I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, video's coming to a close, I love you guys, subscribe, comment, rate, I actually went 34 and 4, but the host disconnects. But like I said, I love you guys, um, comment, rate, subscribe, this has been DuffKing56, with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare commentary. See you guys.